Okay, uh, I stopped with um, talking about metaphors and, and stuff. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, metamonies, as I said, are a higher form of metaphor. Now, I think they go from simile and structure to metaphor to uh, metamony along a, a range of, of complexity. Uh, and um, metamony is in a different area. It's, it's kind of like the way space and time relate to each other. In a way, you could paraphrase, or not paraphrase, but you could draw an analogy. Um, as, as far as, like, say, the earliest concepts of uh, philosophy, like uh, uh, solidity and perishability and extension, uh, first, second, and third dimension, um, and, uh, and other various philosophical concepts with common extensions of three. Um, and Metnamoni ventures out of the range of uh, metaphor. Uh, so, um, so the way that, that uh, Metnamoni extends its geometric language could be easily is view, visualized in terms of chess uh, in a different structural uh, way. Um, it would be um, the queen would be the make for the model of the rook and the bishop. And um, that would be uh, now here is where uh, the uh, the, um, the the part of the, the 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 emotional textures of human thought process really get into deeper senses of uh, realization than the animal, uh, especially the insect thought processes. Is through these uh, maybe some higher forms of animals, or well, they do think in terms of that. But um, humans have much much higher uh, capabilities of uh, thinking in terms of metaphorical structures and all sorts of metaphorical structures. I think metaphor is where emotion comes into. Um, Human emotion comes into its clarity, and um, now the face also is where we, as children and babies, begin to get our um, our uh, our um, contact of emotional clarity with each other, our mothers and fathers, and through close physical closeness and emotional closeness through smiles and stuff like that. Because the face is made up of eight, eight parts. In, in that way, we are all made in the image of God. Two eyes, two nostrils, two lips, two ears. And a room is made of eight parts too. Six sides and entrance and exit most of the time. So the architectural structures and facial structures have a very close similarity. So where we get our shelter, we get our shelter, and this is a, um, was originated, I think, in Hegelian philosophy, um, whose, whose own biggest drawback was one, one statement of prejudice he made, or maybe two. I don't know, I had read one. Um, he might have made many, I don't know. I read one. Um, uh, it said that um, that uh, we, we we build our shelter with the very elements that we're sheltering ourselves from, and um, it seems that um, now we have eight fingers too, plus the thumb. Without the thumb, to be connected with the figures, we wouldn't be able to take, make the tools that we use to build shelters with. And now, um, 
no emotions are all dichotomies usually most of the time they're all dichotomies um, love hate um, joy sorrow uh, kindness cruelty uh, forgiveness not forgiveness um, pleasure pain um, light dark which are emotions but they yeah. well, yeah they can be emotions I mean, they can be uh, metaphorically u used to describe emotional textures and um, um, now if everything is in trees as far as uh, the earliest philosophy that really began to expand, expand itself I think it was Lockean physics, uh, uh, philosophy that said the, the, about solidity uh, and penetrability and extension I'm not sure I think it was Lockean John Locke uh, that would go with um, the Christian ideology or the Christian uh, figure of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, three. And maybe um, the Father is the seed, the Holy Spirit is the womb, and the Son is the um, um, bringer of um, a type of philosophy to humanity that will allow it, humanity to survive a nuclear holocaust or a, or a physical holocaust through ideologies of compassion which are in other religions too but not to the same amount but we have but the new but then the new testament at times is in a dichotomy with the old testament because of all the wars that are in the old testament which uh, the new testament to jesus brings to an end, or brings to a fuller realization of and this, in a way, goes along with Hegelian um, philosophy because it's, um, it's uh, it, the, the, the end or the, the, the outcome of human reality is realized through a sort of perfection, a, 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 a realization of perfection. In, in Kantian metaphysics, it's um, it's uh, um, it's more of the science of it, and and um, matter form realities and, and a priori, a posteriori, sensory perception, time and space, and other 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 geometric um, other geometric and. Uh, physicist physics uh, that gets into uh, logistics logicisms and um, I haven't read much of this stuff um, I've read some uh, but um, the um, the uh, the um, Yeah, 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 um, so it's kind of my head, distracting me, but, um, so where do emotions come from, um, and would we have survived to this point without the things like the Sermon on the Mount and ideologies like um, forgiveness above uh, revenge and stuff like that I say most likely we wouldn't have most likely if it was like an eye and eye an eye for an eye is in the Old Testament we probably wouldn't be here right now most likely we wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for um, Sermon on the Mount and, and some of the other things that Jesus said, along with some other religions too, what they said, and um, 
which um, come into unity with Christianity at the same time the verge with Christianity. But Christianity comes closest to realization. Also, I will get into the idea of um, discovery of frontier and what it means to be human in terms of freedom. The freedom which is never fully realizable on this plane of existence, but comes closest to its realization through the United States landmass in terms of um, discovery of frontier, in a way, in a way. And um, it comes closest to uh, that, to um, uh, our um, doing away with what brought us here in the first place, the, the, the almost, almost annihilation of two different races, and how we learn through that and push it to new frontiers. And um, discovery of frontier citizenship is only realized through the American um, ability to invent through its 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 um, historical and its 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 landmass and its 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 materials, its earth's materials and everything, and its ideologies and everything converging that has been growing throughout uh, human civilization. I think I shut this off for now.